My name is Abhishek Jain and welcome back to the Netflix TV tutorial series. In this video, we're gonna see how we can export a CSV data in, into the Netflix DB by using a pandas along with the Netflix DB API client. So let's quickly see what we're gonna cover in this. So we're gonna see how we can read the CSV data with the help of pandas and convert this each and every CSV records into the JSON format which Netflix DB client can easily process. Then we're gonna see how we can export that and we're gonna verify whether the data has been exported into the InfluxDB correctly or not. From the prerequisite perspective, your InfluxDB server should be up and running and you should have a Python 3 install on your machine along with the library pandas and InfluxDB API client. Obviously the Python programming basic knowledge has to has to be there otherwise it would be very difficult for you to follow along because most of the part we will be doing a Python coding. And before continuing with this video, I would highly recommend you to watch the previous videos because a lot of stuff I'll be using from my previous videos. So let's quickly jump to the demo part. Okay, so uh, before doing a coding, let's quickly check the which CSV file we're gonna use. So we're gonna use this market test data. How does it look like? So just see, we have three columns, reference, date and a value. And we have 20 records and including the header, we have 21 records, right? So uh, reference, uh, column we're gonna use as a tag right so tag is nothing but it's, uh, it will uh, InfluxDB automatically create the index for that then we have a field which is a simple column in a table right and the measurement gonna be the same as the csv file name which is a market test data right so we're gonna see how we can do that so the very first thing which we're gonna do is we're gonna import pandas as pd okay the next thing is we have to uh, we have to define a variable which will have you know the the path location of our csv file that i have already done it so that we can save some save some time for us the another thing is which we gonna do is we gonna define our object name csv reader which will have this pd dot read underscore csv this is one of the module which we can use from the pandas and this requires to provide a path of a csv so read underscore csv i'll just part this i'll just provided this path now how we can verify whether you know a csv reader has you know all the records properly or not so for verifying that we can quickly print it csv reader dot shape so it will give us a shape and we can quickly verify the column names as well whether we are getting the correct column names or not okay so this one looks good i think We have 20 records along with three columns and these three columns are reference date and a value so it looks like uh, you know the the, the pandas is uh, you know uh, doing the job correctly so the next thing is we're gonna see is how we can iterate through each and every records and convert that particular data into the json format which we have seen in the part four like i mean how our json format should look like right so i just created already created how we're gonna do it as we define that we're gonna use the measurement name as a uh, csv uh, file name so let's quickly copy this from here and change the measurement name and so i put in the market test data the tag we're gonna use is a reference okay so in reference if you will see here we have this tag which is a variable which we're gonna populate by you know iterating the records which we have in the csv reader then we have a value to the field value which would be replaced with a value which we have in the csv file so this value is gonna be field for us and this reference is gonna be the tag let's quickly see how we can iterate through so that we can populate these values so for doing that in pandas we have four raw underscore index comma raw in csv reader dot we have one iter rows which this is a method which returns us an index along with the record and record will record is in a series format series it is a non permitted data type in a python so, and we can easily iterate through like a like like some you by using the subscription of that elements right so we have we what we have to do we have to just extract the tags which is a variable and which we will be replacing in our json body which you can see here right this tags value so for doing that the raw is zero element it's going be going to be our reference and from this field value uh let me just quickly uh so row 
second part. So I'm not using the first one because that is giving us, you know, the date value which we don't want. Right. The next thing is we have to put this inside the for loop so that for each and every record it will keep uh, replacing that and keep creating that. So if you will see this JSON body is nothing but some list and inside this list you have this JSON format data, right? Which we are uh, which we are populating with uh, this particular thing, right? So let's quickly check whether you know the data is getting uh, properly created or not. So let's quickly do the print JSON underscore body. Okay, so let's quickly run it and see. So it looks like data is getting uh, created properly. If we can verify the value is 0145, 0145.13, let's quickly check. The last value is 0145.13, yeah, it's fine. The next thing is what we're gonna do is, since we have the data converted into a JSON format, now we have to import our InflixDB API client, okay? So for that, I have already put it this import statement uh, to just do it quickly. And the next thing which we have to do is we have to create the client by using this InflixDB client. And we know that it consumes two parameters. The first one is host. In our case, it is going to be a local host followed by port. And from port, it runs on 8086. Okay, so we are done. So client has been created. The next thing which we're gonna see is which DB and which DB we want to create this. So let's see what all databases we have. So this is our Inflix TV client. If you would have seen my previous video, you will be able to follow along on this. In my previous video, we are using a second DB. So let's see a second DB what we have here. Show measurements. So we have this. We don't have this market test data if you will see here. Right, so we're gonna create this. Okay, to create this, we have to run this. Okay, so the next thing which we have to do here is we have to switch if you remember, we have to switch to the DB which we want to use. So switch database which accepts uh, DB as DB name as a parameter. So second DB. I hope I didn't make any mistake here. Okay. Now we are good to go. The only thing which we are pending is we just need to send this particular data inside the Inflix DB. So to do so, what I have to do is I have to just put this write underscore points method and which consume the JSON underscore body. Okay. So okay, this should be fine. Let's quickly check whether things is happening. So it seems like it has been done. So let's quickly verify again. Let me fire this so measurement and see. Okay, here you can see the market test data has been created and we can quickly check as well. Select count star from market test data. And we have to put this as a one four. Okay, I think we should, now we should get 20 records. Okay, so we have here 20 records. Uh, so th this seems to be working fine. Uh, so uh, this is how you can import your CSV records into the Inflix DB. Okay, that's it from my side from this video. Maybe in the next video, we will be using, you know, the bigger size or the larger size of CSV file. And if there is any need to be improved, optimize our code, definitely we can do that. Because I just took the 20 records for this time to make it easy and to make it quick. But definitely if you have a large file and you want to, you know, export that and if it is taking time, then definitely I can have a look at your code and I can provide you the optimized way. How can you do that? But to just start with, that is how you can read the CSV and put it in Inflix DB. That's it from my side. Thanks for watching. And as, as always, if you have any feedback or any comment, or if you want to cover me any specific topic, please feel free to put that in a comment section. I would happy, I would be more than happy to help you on that. And I will take your feedback as a, you know, very constructive one so that I can just improve my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching this.